This week, the government are expected to announce a number of air bridges to popular European destinations thought to include Italy, Spain and France. But if you can't decide on your dream destination, all of this week we'll be giving you a taste of what you can expect. And today we're starting with Alison's adventure to beautiful Bordeaux. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> we struck up a friendship after bonding over our love of fine food. So much so that this... French guitar. Better known as top chef Jean-Christophe Novelli <laughs> has invited me to beautiful Bordeaux to learn about delicious French cuisine and wine. This is already drunk just by the fume of the grapes. <laughs> it's going to be a trip of full bellies. Oh, wow, look at that. And belly laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> this is Brummy in Bordeaux. Bordeaux is the second most visited French city behind Paris and it's the world's most popular wine region with up to 300,000 acres of land covered in vineyards. And who better as a tour guide than a top French chef coolly driving a classic French car? <laughs> I said coolly, John Christophe. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Welcome to Bordeaux, Alison. We're on our holidays. This is the best. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to take you somewhere where the food is fantastic. Really? And the wine. I'm not really a big wine drinker. Well, I'm sure by the time I finish with you, you would be. <laughs> <laughs> we head straight to a traditional food hall, La Halle de Bacalan. This place is amazing. This is the place where you buy the most exclusive, the most refined food. And basically, you don't need to go to the supermarket. Well, let's go shopping. Here we are. Let's go. Oh, wow. Chocolate, my favourite. Oh, la, la. So which one do you think I should go oh. for? I do like chocolate a lot. C'est quoi? Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est le chocolat d'Equateur. C'est très bon. Merci beaucoup. Oh, we've got cheese here. Yeah, wow. This is the Beaufort, and I promise you, you're going to melt it. It's Fantastic. A tiny little oh, yeah. piece gives so much flavour. Obviously, this is not the most uh, value for money because there's too many holes. <laughs> I think Jean Christophe enjoys teaching me about food more than he does the language. Vous êtes Ed... Ed... formidable. Formidable. Merci. Non, nobly. Vous êtes Ed... formidable. Vous, me, Vous... formidable. Vous, Vous êtes Ed... formidable. formidable. Yes. Parfait. Merci. He loved that. Merci beaucoup. Hey, I'm learning slowly, and lovely Jean Christophe is rewarding me for my efforts. Bonjour, Monsieur. Bonjour. I'm going to cook you some local lamb. Je voudrais de l'agneau, s'il vous plaît. Le gigot. Gigot d'agneau. Uh, merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Sorted. Amazing food to be cooked in an amazing location as we head to Chateau Bia. This is a picturesque estate, boasting an 18th century chateau set amongst thousands of vines which produce elegant wine. Look at this vineyard. Give me, give me oh, you're such a gentleman. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Alison is already so... drunk just by the fume of the grapes. <laughs> oh, this is here amazing. Look at the grapes. They're Look already here. Look. It's... Why yeah. are they at the bottom? Aren't they normally at the top? The bottom, obviously, we low the grapes to be fed uh, directly with the right nutrition, the water, yeah. as quick as possible. If the grapes were on the top, they'll be, they'll be burned by now. I've got pips. Yeah, it's well, not it's, seedless. A, it's a grape, what do you think? <laughs> it's, it's pips. Oh, it's not if like it was in the shop, is it? <laughs> I can confirm that the grapes aren't quite ready to be harvested yet, but I'm ready for dinner. Come on, chef. This is the local lamb. You can see it's wow. fabulous. And what we're going to do with it, we're going to serve it with some local potatoes. Superb, beautiful. And we're going to get the potatoes to cook alongside. Are you going to rub it in? No, it will. Oh, you just leave it like that? I can rub it if you want. You, would you like me to rub I it? I like yeah. a bit of a rub. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, saucy. Tell me, what are your memories of being in France? Fresh bread. The first thing in the morning, you get this crunch. <laughs> A fantastic piece of butter just on it, and that's it. That for me, perfect. That's it, yeah. 
Oh, tell me, what about you? What was your most uh, nostalgic or memorable? I can remember my mum cooking Caribbean food. She would use, like, corned beef. You know corned beef? Corned beef. Corn... Do you know corned beef? It's in a tin. In a tin. <laughs> She would do it with onion, peppers, okay. and she'd cook it all down with just some white rice. Are you saying the beef is in the tin? Yeah. Oh, you're missing out, JC. I'll cook you up some corned beef when you're next in Birmingham. So we're nearly there. Yeah, we're there. Is there anything else I can do? Perhaps maybe you can enjoy yourself outside. OK. Have a glass of wine and wait for me. Loving your work. Now time to enjoy the fruits of our, um, I mean, Jean-Christophe's labour. Bon appétit. Been served by Jean-Christophe Novelli sunset in a chateau with a vineyard. I mean, this is literally the best day of my life. Alison, welcome to France. Chin chin. Thank you. C'est bon. Mm. C'est magnifique. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful, beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, stunning. I know, really nice.